conversation going and right. to as always keep the narrative of I want to discuss both angles and always we can agree to disagree. So when I think of limitations, it's two things I instantly think about. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. So the first one was COVID and how we couldn't do anything, and how I remember everybody cousin from the Pentagon said that they was going to shut us down and which they mm -hmm. did, but you yeah. know, I don't know what was the, well, how the rumor about everybody stock up on toilet paper came about, not food, but toilet paper. Um, I didn't understand that, but also some people actually argue because we live in a, um, a freer world. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Some people may argue and could argue that relationships are limitations. Could you agree or disagree with that? And if so, why, why not? I could argue that some relationships do have limitations, just probably based off that partner and their views um, and how they want you to be or mold you to be. So if you are not securing yourself and who you are and your identity, then yeah Ex expect a little oomph to come behind it i definitely agree i think that i don't think that that was my view in my younger days mm -hmm. that we, and, and here's the thing and i say this respectfully honestly to anybody listening i think a lot of it was just that i saw a lot of bad ones so mm -hmm. i felt like if this love, I don't want it because it's too much. Like mm -hmm. people will be on Instagram in love, and then the same homeboy getting the car and he crying like Makai Fife on paid in full. Y'all know what scene <laughs> I'm talking about. And it was like it felt it from his chest. I'm like, <laughs> like, don't get it twisted. Of course, you're gonna go through stuff, but it's just sometimes like y'all always into it, it's always this. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, but I, of course, obviously, I, I feel like God's allowed me to see some great ones. So I've seen some great ones now, and I knew eventually my views would change. But yeah, for some years, I was outside, and that wasn't even like, <laughs> and, and I wasn't even like hoeing. I just was like I'm chilling, using yeah. the curve. And that's okay. Why do people think that that's a bad thing? Like people, it's I have friends. When it was like that for me, mm -hmm. I had friends. He'd be like, "Oh, you need a day? Why are you single? You know." But I knew when I when it happened, it's gonna be like the perfect thing, like the fireworks gonna go. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be all that. But let me ask you this too. Mm -hmm. So now, so you talk more about you know the incarcerated population and your plans mm -hmm. to create an all boys mental health center, right? Yep. Now with that. Because I'm, this is the challenge side, so we being petty. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do how they do with Black Lives Matter and try to say all lives matter. So you saying all boys, well, why not girls too? Because I love y'all ladies, but we're spoiled. We get everything we want, okay? We get the food stamps. We get the wig. We get the health care. We get actually better ways into halfway houses, you know, the law kind of works in our favor for certain circumstances, even when it comes to mental health and dental, like they won't offer it to men, they'll offer it to us. Mm -hmm. Therefore, um, I feel like boys need the extra assistance, the reassurance and everything that we're already going to get anyway. Like whether we want it or not as women, we're going to get it. And then, so that's good. That's a good answer, actually. So now I'm going to back down, ask the same question, but mm -hmm. I'm going to ask it with you doing it for black and brown, the black and brown community. Obviously, I know. Why. Right. But <laughs> why not everybody? Why everybody? <laughs> is, is, is America operating in that, in that, in that way? Like everything's going to be for us? Like weren't we classified as three fourths as a man right, right off the rip? Wasn't mental health not created for us? They said that we're poor, we're giving you food, we're giving you jobs, and giving you a roof over our heads. Um, why do you need mental health? And now we need it more than ever. Why? Why not that be the focus? Yeah, no, I agree. I just I mean, wanted. I just I, wanted. To... I knew I was gonna catch backlash from it uh, initially when I talked about it, but I mean, I have a very strong community down here that is for it in this lovely red state, but. Mm -hmm. Like if I was fearful of it, I wouldn't do it. But I'm I'm not scared. Like people will start off saying something's black and then change it to multicultural. 
and how lovely that is the focus needs to be on black people because we're always going to be the target in some shape or way or form we need not only mental health but safe space to actually do sports do there are black boys that want to do cheerleading black boys that are trying to find safe ways to come out the closet black boys who are poor and don't want to say that they're poor so they need help getting like clothes haircuts laundry service all that stuff like why not have that space for them and not just black boys but black and brown boys obviously like everyone all people will get it but we're always the demographic that's not going to have access to it no for sure i, I mean i agree yeah. But again, I wanted it to, to be said on camera. I wanted it to be said on a platform. So people not found our people, but it ain't for y'all. Okay. <laughs> Look. Now, uh, so in your work with mental health, obviously, mm -hmm. um, have you ever now watch this encounter a limitation or obstacle that made you question your ability to make a difference? And if so, how did you address it? Yeah. Um, I actually did recently um three weeks ago i had to let a client go because they kept relapsing like mm -hmm. at the clinic we're at you know we give out suboxone and nerve medication so it can be like clonopin or something of that nature and so you have to come in weekly for the first month to have counseling service and medicine to show like we got a treatment plan you're gonna be steady and if you continue to relapse we give you warnings until like the third time I'm like all right now we need to buckle down and so this person, it would be like two weeks of like doing good and great. And then another while, like mm -hmm. mess, but no, something. And I felt like I was inadequate because like you're getting all these tools. I'm pulling out the woodworks. I'm even talking to my supervisor to help you. Like what else could be it? And so I had to sit back and say like, it's not me. I'm not the one that's giving them the drug to take it when they're feeling a certain way. It's not my fault.